Today I'm gonna to show you how to attach a tarp with a piece of cloth with no grommets. As you can see here, my boat, it's a wooden boat, but it's it's on the horn, it don't really work, but the hull, the seams are drying out a bit. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna attach that canvas over there, and I'm gonna put it along the hull, because that canvas will hold moisture, but there are no grommets. So I'm gonna show you how to tie down a tarp that has no grommets. Check it out. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need your tarp or cloth. Got mine going the length of the hull there. You're gonna need your string or rope. I'm using a 550 cord. And you're gonna need some rocks. So what you do is you find the corner or wherever, you know, all along it. You take one of your rocks, okay, like this, and that's gonna be hard to do this one-handed, but and you just poke it up underneath, right? Where you can grab it, like this. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna tie a clove hitch around the rock. So when you tighten down the clove hitch, you're putting it just below the rock, right? And it's making a button, like this. So now it's a button, and that is going to hold just as good as a grommet. I figured I'd show you a better way than tying a clove hitch. So you can always tie the clove hitch like this, right? You can go around. You can make an X, and then you come up through the X. That's how you saw me do it first. And that's a clove hitch, right? Like, like this. But there's a faster way to do it, and I'll show you. You've seen me do it a couple of times. What you do, grab the tail end, right? And then make a loop an under, a loop under. So see, it goes under, right? And then you do the same thing. You make another loop under, like this, and you just put them over the top of each other. Then you can go over the rock, and the clove hitch is tied for you. Just like that. Make sure it's all nice and fair and tight. With a regular tarp and it can't tear out from the wind and it can't tear out from the strength the, the tighter you pull it the tighter it gets and it won't tear so we're going to go down below and tie the bottom all right it's all done yep you can see it's tied on here good as used <laughs> so why i did this this is a wooden boat and because of that, it tends to dry out on the hard because it's not in the water. That can cause leaks, it can cause seam separation. So this is heavy cotton canvas, which holds moisture. Um, so the idea is, I'll use this hose, spray it a couple times a day and it'll keep the hull moist, like this. 